Welcome to Beast of Pilisus, where we talk about everything hairy and extinct. In the little Natural History Museum of Amherst College in Massachusetts, the Beninsky Natural History Museum, sits a lovely but utterly bizarre mysterious mammal called Pyrotherium. The Fire Beast! And it's the only one of its kind. Collected in 1911 in South America from the Oligocene beds of Patagonia by Amherst's famed paleontologist Frederick Loomis, the skull belongs to a strange and mysterious group of mammals called the Pyrotheria, which derive their name from the thick volcanic ash from which the remains are found. Extremely rare and known only from a dozen or so specimens, Pyrotheria is a small component of a much larger extinct endemic mammalian fauna from South America, a continent which was isolated from the other continents for millions of years during the early Cenozoic. The skull of Pyrotherium features a long snout, retracted nasals opening, suggestive that the beast had a large trunk or proboscis in the front of its nose like an elephant, and the most bizarre lumpy teeth which feature giant ridges on the molar teeth with projecting tusk-like incisors in front. A truly bizarre Fire beast! <laughs> Paleontologists have puzzled over the closest living relative to these, this creature. Early workers thought that they were primitive elephants, or gigantic marsupials, or archaic ungulates from North America. Recent re-study of the skull by Guiluna Ballet suggests that pyrotherium might be related to the South American noda ungulate Nodostylops. Although its bizarre teeth seem to preclude this relationship just given how truly bizarre these teeth are, Peruvian paleontologists have uncovered a slightly older pyrotherium from the early Oligocene of Peru, known only by its bizarre teeth and an isolated femur. Bagatherium demonstrates that pyrotheres were widespread across the South American continent. Older fossil teeth of Columiatherium, a possible ancestor of pyrotheres, seems to indicate that the two loafed lobes of the molar teeth may have evolved from a more traditional tooth pattern during the, the late Eocene. However, Columiatherium may not even be a pyrotheer since its bilobed teeth are so primitive and they lack the wrinkles and crenulations that are found on pyrotherium. Another possible ancestor is Protictia from the early Eocene. With its bulby little teeth, it looks superficially like a pyrotheer, although many scientists suggest that it's maybe some other bizarre mammal. Besides pyrotherium and bagatherium, there are three other pyrotheria genera. Griffidon, which is known only from a fragment of the mandible in the late to middle Eocene, which exhibits thick enamel bilobed teeth. Carolozitia from Argentina, that exhibits curved and oblique glyphs on its teeth. And the mysterious middle Eocene Propyrotherium, known only from a few fragmentary teeth and bones. Together, these form the mammalian order Pyrotheria, the fire beasts.